The 83 footer was a twin screw cutter with a displacement of 76 tons, so it was quite a boat. For this purpose, there was a pair of inline eights with four spark plugs per cylinder and one head on two cylinders, each weighing around 240 pounds. As an ignition, there were twin dual distributors with four spark coils. Packard won a 2500. In the 1920s, Packard developed an aviation V12 for post-World War I purposes, which was later sourced for marine applications as well. In the basics, it was a naturally aspirated overhead cam engine, and in 1927 there was also a supercharged version introduced with 900 horsepower. Once it even appeared in something what resembles a car. One thousand cubic inch big block. Some crazy people of Denmark decided to make a ridiculously large and powerful big block to power an old beaten up 68 Corvette. There is no turbo or supercharger, just big exhaust pipes and a massive block in the first place. They put it on a dyno and measured decent 1600 horsepower at 58% open throttle. Remember, this is a streetcar. Wokisha 6LRO88C. It is known that the Bloodhound SSC project uses a Jaguar supercharged V8 as an auxiliary power unit, but this is not less interesting. The big one is a Wokisha 6 cylinder that has a pony 4 cylinder as a starter motor. It appears to be a flathead kind of a pony engine, and the whole power plant is located at Anti Gas and Steam Engine Museum in Vista, California. Snow Holly works. This monstrous engine is one of four, actually one of two still existing. It was built for Rolleston pumping station and is a low speed engine with two cylinders for four combustion chambers. This system is called a double acting engine with a single piston for two chambers. <laughs> 